Welcome to the FIDIC Contract Management channel. In this video, we will explain how the employer can issue instructions for a FIDIC Silver Book EPC contract. This training course is proudly presented by ClinkerCMC.com. The FIDIC Silver Book contract form is used for engineering, procurement, and construction contracts, which can be on a turnkey basis with a fixed lump sum price. To manage the contract in a clear and transparent way, the employer requirements should have an administration requirements section. Such document describes the obligations about which forms to use, the workflow process, meetings to be held, and reporting. This module is about the instructions which the employer's representative can issue under subclause 3.4 of the general conditions. Be aware that only an authorized employer's representative or an assistant with the appropriate authority can issue instructions. The contractor shall comply with an instruction. The employer's representative can instruct a variation. The contractor shall immediately notify the employer's representative if they believe that the instruction constitutes a variation or they have other objections. If the employer's representative does not respond within seven days, then the instruction is deemed to be revoked. In the next section, we will explain the instruction process on a flowchart. The instruction process starts with the employer representative who must prepare the instruction. The employer representative shall clearly indicate whether the instruction is a variation or not. The contractor shall review the instruction and notify the employer representative if they think that the instruction is a variation or has any other objections. If there are no objections, then the contractor must comply with the instruction. The employer representative must respond to the contractor's notice within seven days. Depending on the answer, the instruction can be confirmed, reversed, or changed. Unless the employer representative reverses or revokes the instruction, the contractor must comply with the instruction. Depending on whether the instruction is a variation or not, the contractor must submit a variation proposal or decide to submit a claim notice. If the instruction results in a variation or a claim, then the respective variation and claim clauses shall be followed. The employer representative shall thereafter follow subclause 3.5 to reach an agreement or make a determination. The employer representative shall use the instruction form by entering the header details about the project, contractor, and instruction numbering. It is important to clearly indicate if the instruction is a variation or not. Next, the instruction details shall be described and related documents which are attached to the instruction shall be listed. When the instruction is completed, it shall be duly signed by the authorized employer representative or assistant. Subsequently, the form and attached documents can be sent to the contractor via the document management system. The party shall pay attention to their notification obligations in subclause 3.4. If the contractor believes that the instruction is a variation or has other objections as per subclause 3.4b, then they have to send a notice immediately. The employer representative shall, within seven days, respond to the contractor's notice. For good contract management, it is recommended to prepare a set of standard letters and notices which support timely responses. To manage and control the instructions, the contractor shall prepare and maintain an instruction register, which shall be included in the monthly progress report. The contractor shall also prepare and maintain a variation and claims register. The contractor shall clearly indicate which instruction is related to which variation or claim. The party shall conduct regular progress meetings in which the completion status of the instructions is discussed and execution issues are resolved. The party shall also conduct regular commercial meetings in which the instruction related variations and claims are discussed and resolved. On behalf of ClinkerCMC.com, thank you for watching and please